Hi guys, my name is Frank, and in this Arma 3 video, I'm going to show you guys some commands that you can use to adjust the video settings of your mission for your players to be influenced by that will basically affect the terrain quality for the most part. So, view distance, object draw distance, shadow distance, as well as uh, the terrain quality and the terrain textures at different distances will be shown off in this video. So, anyway. A good one to start out with is the terrain quality. If you go in your video settings and you see there's like five commands, it's ultra, high, very high, standard, and low. Right now I have it set to low through a script command, which is this. Set terrain grid 50. This is the low command basic, or the low, the low setting for t the terrain setting. But if I wanted to set it to ultra, the ultra setting in Alma 3 is 12.5. But you can still get see some warping. What the what the terrain what the terrain grid basically does is make the edges of hills and stuff a lot less jagged or more jagged, as well as uh, showing grass. So right now we can see some grass with the 12.5 setting. Before I set this to 50, it gets rid of all the grass. So the lo the lower the setting, the better the quality. Zero doesn't do anything really. It, I mean it improves it, but it's not as good as one. One is the highest quality that I've found for the set terrain grid. So, with the one setting for ter set terrain grid, we could see grass being rendered at probably more than 100, about 100 meters, maybe more. Possibly more than 100 meters. But I think it's 100. Maybe 200 at most. But anyway, you could see if we look over here by the lighthouse that it's pretty much. It looks the way it should at at distance as it would if we were up there. The hills are just as jagged as they would be and all that. Only downside, of course, is that it hits performance a lot. Or it can hit performance a lot. It's very CPU intensive. Because Arma 3 re renders terrain and shit with the CPU, not the GPU. Makes sense, right? Anyway. Then we have the set shadow distance. Right now you can see there's no shadows. Even my character shouldn't have a shadow. And the sun is right over there, so you should see my shadow go this way. So what I'm going to do is set the shadow distance to 2,000. Or actually, the only valid, the maximum you can set it to is 200, it seems. And there you go. Shadows. Yay. And I should be able to see shadows, like, around there. Let's see if we can see a difference. If I set to 100. You can see a little difference. Set it to 2,000. 200, uh, yeah, there's no difference, so 200 is the maximum you could set it to. So that's the shadow distance command, set shadow distance 200 colon, and then we have this one, set object view distance, this is pretty obvious, it's an object draw distance, however, this does not mean the amount of objects that can be on the screen, so if you're, oh, I'll actually have to explain it this way, this right here, determines how many objects we can see. So I think this means that we could see 2,000 objects, or we see all objects within 2,000 meters, period. There's not going to be a lot of object popping with this. But if I did something like this, there's going to be object popping. We don't want that. So basically, you can't really control the object popping with the set object view distance. But what basically what this does is make sure that objects within 2,000 meters can appear, but there it won't show the maximum amount of objects within that radius, if that makes sense, within that view distance. There will be a lot of view popping, unless the player has his uh, objects set to the maximum value that it lets him set it to, which is equal to the view distance. So that's the only downside. Then there is the set view distance. Obviously this is the view distance. I'll just show this off real quick. So here's the view distance. Set it to, let's say, Let's set it to 200. I think that's the shortest you could set it to. That's 200. Let's see 500. Yeah. 200 is the lowest you could set it to. Yep. Let's set it back to 2000. So that's the view distance script command. Set view distance 2000 colon. And then when finally we have the set detail blend map pars. Or set detail map blend pars. With a array right here. This one's a little bit more complicated. And there's uh, some other examples in the wiki if you look this up. But basically, this sets the texture quality of the terrain. So right now, you can see it's very 
It's pretty shitty quality, very blurry. It's basically the satellite map, I guess, with, with some little slight editing. But I could do this and set it much higher. Let's try to do this. Now you can see a much better quality right there. However, if you, I zoom in all the way over here, it's still very blurry. So what I'm going to do is try to do this. The downside to this is that A, it hits performance, and also some t you'll see a lot of tiling with the textures on the terrain. It's not terribly noticeable, but like right here, you, you can see the tiling a lot. So you gotta mess around with the settings, but basically what this kind of does is help improve the textures at, at a longer distance. So if I zoom in, still a little bit of blurriness there. Let's see if we can fix that. Maybe not that one. Let's try this. Nope. I guess maybe 2000 is the most. Maybe because that's our view distance. I don't know. So as I get closer and further away, you can see the difference there. I probably set the settings up wrong, but yeah. Anyway, something to play around. I'm still learning this one, by the way, so that's why I kind of, you know, bad de demonstration of that. But anyway, hopefully this gives you better insight on the the settings you could set. This is the reason why this is important to know about is because you could set put this in your init.sqf of your mission or init player local.sqf, and this can help optimize your mission or the performance of your server even if you apply these. So if you had subpar settings, for example, like let's say a thousand by a thousand, then, you know, obviously you have much higher frame rates. So probably not the best idea to set those settings really high, but to set them lower can help improve performance of your mission and your server. So something to keep in mind. Anyway, hopefully the video is helpful. If it was, like it. If it wasn't helpful, just post a question or a suggestion or point out what I did wrong, whatever. And, uh, yeah, I'll try to answer whatever questions I can or do more videos on this, probably, in the future. So, anyway, see you next time.